Welcome to our first Edge Sculpture virtual presentation. This is something that uh, my brother Dan and I have been wanting to do for quite a while now, but because of COVID, it sort of speeded that process up a little bit. Pushed it to the fore. Pu pushed it to the fore. And the reason for that is because the trade shows have been cancelled. So usually when we release new pieces to shops and galleries, um, we spend an enormous amount of time logistically packing Luton vans mm -hmm. and tools and building uh, stands that could last up to, so three weeks we're out of the building doing that. But this time round, we're in a very small box now. Yes, the broom cupboard. A broom cupboard. A large broom cupboard, but a broom <laughs> cupboard nevertheless. We have a lot of brooms. So yeah, the nature of this uh, presentation is just really to introduce the, uh, the last three pieces that I've been working on in their full production state. What that means is uh, fully painted as we intend to make them and send them out to the shops and galleries. Usually what you do see or have seen up to this point uh, are the clays, the mm -hmm. sculpts that I've done and I've put on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, and they've had a tremendous response. Though, yeah, they? good. I mean, uh, talking about Facebook, um, obviously this pres presentation not only gives us the chance to introduce the new uh, releases for autumn winter but um you may might not may not be aware that matt has asked for some questions for a little q and a i did on facebook and uh, so so we'll do a bit of that first a couple of questions before moving on to great and I, and I don't know what they are or what order you've selected them in no well we have had a lot of the questions are are on a similar theme Yes. So, so I've sort of amalgamated them and yeah. played around with a bit and we'll see how that goes or doesn't. Yeah, well, I, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> yes, well, what we'll do, uh, we'll have uh, two questions. Two? Yeah, only two uh, before the, uh, for, we go for the, the first, first presentation, presentation yeah. and then we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll do it that way. Obviously not to... So we don't bore people to death. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, right? Yeah, fire away then. What have I, you got for me? I have, I have a hat here, so it's going to be randomly pulled from the hat. Okay. That I, I, I stole from the child catcher. You certainly did. <laughs> chitty, chitty, bang, bang, all the way, that, isn't it? Yes, well, I can keep it for Ascot. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they won't let you in Ascot, though. Not, not, unless, not, unless no. horse, not unless a horse has died. <laughs> That's real <laughs> mole skin. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure a it is. A synthetic mole. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Right, completely random. Yep. From the, uh, the tens of, well, ten we've had in. Oh, ten, okay. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. All right. Okay. So this one is further afield than usual. Right. Okay. So okay. Um, Bruce and Matilda of New South Wales, Australia. Bruce and Matilda. <laughs> yes. Not their real names then. Of uh, could be. Could be. Yeah. Could Waltzing be. Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. Uh, I see. Uh, or Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> no, Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. Yes, and Bruce. Yes. Right. Okay. So obviously they're from Australia, but an Australia featured very heavily in the news earlier this year, but with the right. unfortunate events of, of the bushfires. The fight, yes, okay. So they I are keen to know if we'll be doing any uh, Australian themed animals, particularly the koala bear. Well, um, I would say my quick answer to that is yes, I, I, I can see, certainly see a koala bear working, definitely. I think, uh, in terms of other Australian subjects, I think I think the problem is a kangaroo, for instance, is very regional. Yeah. Um, and and I think even though it's it's an, an unusual creature and would make an interesting piece, I don't know whether or not, um, apart from say a tourist possibly, yeah, yeah. would want to buy. I, I you, you, you know, but I think a koala bear. Yeah, I think a, a little bush baby would. I think uh, koala bear's got got more of an international. I, I, I do, I, I do. I mean, there are other subjects, you know, like there's that, the duck-billed platypus. Right, yes, I think, yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's I, I think weird Australia's, creature, that one is. Australia's a bit of um, God's experimental sure continent, is. Yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But, well, yeah, duck-billed platypus. Yeah, Darwin was uh, chuffed at yeah, coming yeah. across that little specimen, wasn't he? Yeah, where'd you put that? Yeah, the only mammal that lays eggs. And has a bill. And has a bill, yeah. Yeah. yeah weird. No, they're very, very strange, but no. And, oh, venom. Sorry, sorry. It's, all, it's also ve venomous. Venomous. Yes, that's right. It's easy for you to say. I, that's, that's the first time I knew it. A venomous. It's venomous as well. 
A duck billed platypus. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. A mammal with a beak. It doesn't have fangs, not like. A mammal with a beak. It's, it, there's something on their legs. It's um, Flippers. Ve- 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 and it's venomous. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. <laughs> Yeah, where'd you put that one? Yes, yes. That Petri Petrication. dish had some left over, didn't it? Anyway, but digress. Yeah, no. Koala right. bear, uh, yeah, I would think yep. so. Okay. Time frame wise, not sure, but more than likely to 21. Brilliant. I'm sure it'd yeah. be very popular. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. I hope that answers your question, Bruce and Matilda. Bruce and Matilda. Right, uh, next one Bruce before we Matilda. move on. Okay. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Ooh, it's a scroll. A scroll. I'm not sure how this got through email. No. <laughs> no idea. Probably carry a pigeon. Right, oh, okay. Um, right, Henry. Henry. Of, of Hampton Court. Henry of Hampton Court. Uh, yes, Hampton yes. Court. Um, Henry VIII, he is. Is this is the one? Henry VIII. It do, does say Henry v- VIII. V-I-I-I. Henry. I just thought that was his name, Henry Vi. Yes, I know where you're going. No? Go on. Okay, then. right. Uh, he is very, very fond yes. of the large edge sculptor busts. Or, right. or, or, or heads. Heads. He likes to call this them. This is where you, I thought you were rolling. <laughs> no pun intended. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> obvious. Right. Um, and basically, he's just asking, because he's so, so fond of, of the, the heads, uh, whether you'd be doing any more, and if so, what, so what subjects? Right. Heads. By heads, yes. we yeah, busts heads. Right. Yeah, we, the, the, the large busts, I guess, uh, really are heads, but the reason we call them busts is because from a marketing perspective, when we launched Edge, it was just easier. But um, to answer the question, yes, absolutely. I think from a personal point of view, sculpting them, Edge, or what what uh, um, I suppose dictates the form, the best, the style, um, uh, I think heads are where I'd like to... Mm. work more at if that makes sense I've done a lot of figures recently but I think to answer that question short and sweetly yeah, I think I'm actually looking well, at doing probably a, a lean towards more uh, well, busts and heads what, what sort of subjects that? Uh, animals or, or, or yeah I humans? think so no I think so I, th- I think I think when I look at bearing in mind Edge is, is getting on a bit now uh, I look back and I think that there there are subjects I've actually covered before that I'd like to do again or another version of so yeah definitely I think um, like a tiger, for instance, a passive tiger, oh. even though I've done a, an aggressive tiger. Like, assume, like the lion. Like the lion and mm-hmm. the panther, yeah. I think yeah. that that would be great on something that I've looked at already. I think that um, from a, um, a great ape perspective, I think the orangutan is missing the head. You no, know, absolutely. Just look, yeah, yeah, chimpanzee, yeah. gorilla, but I think if there's one thing I really you know, want to get to grips with is a, is a decent orangutan. Yeah. I think it'll do very Just from a personal point of view, I mean, that, that's something I'd like to sculpt. Well, then you get the set then, won't you? But yeah, I think yeah. I think uh, animals, I think. I think the problem with, um, from my perspective, personal perspective, doing uh, human orientated pieces is I tend to be more interested in historical. Yes. Yeah. The only thing with historical pieces is they are less of a less generic interest I think mm-hmm. even so even though I would like to go back in time like make, for instance do the Sutton Who mask or something like that you know Anglo-Saxon yeah, Saxon artifact Saxon. I think would be yeah. very good I'd also have liked to have done a Roman I know I've done a, 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 a Spartan that isn't technically a Spartan it's actually a, an ancient Greek uh, warrior hop with a hoplite helmet of course, but, we all knew that. Yeah, well, that, that, <laughs> this is the problem, you see. You start saying it's a hoplite, no one knows yeah, what yeah, you're talking yeah, about. So yeah. again, so again, yes, I, I would, but I think that, uh, yeah, I think I'd like to get more okay. out of some animals. So hopefully that helps. I hope that answers Henry's question. Henry. En- Henry. Henry's question. Henry, Henry's yes, question. let's hope okay. it answers well, Henry's question. I think without uh, any, any more further ado... Right. I think we should move on to our first, um, first presentation. presentation. Okay, right. Well, the first presentation we've got is for the new uh, Bear Cub. This is the, uh, the Brilliant. first piece I sculpted from the new Autumn lineup. And I think from here, when Dan presses his special button, this bit disappears and we go on to the uh, presentation. I, I, forgot, I forgot the special button. Oh, dear. <laughs> I just had to make it up. Go, okay. okay, go on.
Hello folks, welcome to the first presentation. This is for the uh, Brown Bear Cub. Now even though it is uh, in every essence a small piece, um, I've tried really, really hard actually to make sure that um, it is a very accurate interpretation of a bear cub, but I also wanted to make sure that there was, there was life and energy and charisma in the piece. Also, because I'm so used to doing larger pieces with the, the edge style, I wanted to make sure that even though it is a lot smaller, that it's got a lot of the stylistics going on in there. So, so there's a lot to try and uh, maintain uh, when sculpting a piece of this size, but I hopefully um, I've achieved it. Um, hasn't been the easiest piece to, to do in that sense, even though you would imagine it might be being small. But no, it's, it's, had, it's had a little bit of a journey. I've also uh, been very conscious to make sure that the piece sits very well alongside uh, the sitting orangutan and sitting gorilla and also the elephant calf. Uh, because the, as I've sculpted the small ones, they've started developing, so it's almost like a, a mini collective or sort of um, born to be wild sort of series. And I think uh, I will definitely work on that and develop it. I think I've gonna, got other small pieces I've planned. Now, obviously, being presented on a quite a large turntable, this piece needs to be seen uh, close up. Now, what Dan's also prepared, which he has for the other pieces, is a close up 360 film that he's actually uh, done already. And this is going to follow the sequence right now. Welcome to the second part of the presentation, folks. Hope you like the uh, presentation of the little brown bear cub. Um, and I think what we're going to do is just literally go straight into uh, some more questions, I guess, before we go for the second presentation. Yes, I bet you can't wait. I, you, oh, I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Let, let's see what you've got for me then, Dan, this time round. I take it my expensive yeah. Yeah. hat. Oh, yeah. It's got some lint on it, I'll have to... After it's all right. Brush it later. Right. It's all right. Okay. Most people are watching in HD. They won't find it. They won't pick it up. Random, random, random. Random again. Random. Totally random. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, another, another uh, letter. Sorry, email is from further afield. Oh right, further afield. Yes, it's from a uh, Mr. Martin uh, McFly of Hill Valley, California. Martin McFly. Marty McFly. Okay. Yeah, no, yes, he, he said he does prefer to be called Marty. Oh, does he? Yes. Excellent. So, so Marty... Uh, In his DeLorean. <laughs> How did you know? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's telepathy. There though. can't be many left. There, there, there can't be. No. 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 And uh, yes, it, it, they can only do 88 miles an hour, apparently. Is that right? Yes. Oh, and they're gone. And never to return. <laughs> well, yes, maybe. Maybe. 
maybe not. Anyway, um, Martin wrote, he is a man who's uh, always looking ahead. He's always looking ahead. Right, yes. okay. <laughs> so, so with that in mind, uh, he can't wait to see uh, what we've got coming up. No. So, no. Right. so he would like to know what sculpts you've got planned for the future. Ooh, right. Oh, right, okay. That's a question straight away, isn't it? What sort of people... Right, well, I think straight away, the polls on Facebook that I put earlier on this year, they were really, really interesting. Never had uh, even the slightest uh, clue that they were going to be as popular as they are. The reason I bring that up. Uh, there were two subjects that I put on initially, mm -hmm. uh, between the uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, which hopefully you know we'll see later in the presentation, and a French Bulldog. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, literally, the voting it was neck and neck. I mean, and I don't, close, wasn't it? yeah, and I don't just mean with a few people. There was a lot of people. Mm. So I think um, rather than being lynched, I think um, definitely we'll be looking at a French okay, yeah. uh, bulldog. Uh, certainly, good. Other subjects um, touched upon before. I would like to look at a large orangutan um, head bust, but I think going forwards into, into say, uh, new territory, new territory. Oh, that's that's probably the most difficult thing to... Or, or do you not want to give it away? There is that as well. I think yeah. another thing There's is... Like, surprise I, element Yeah, surprise and I, th I think another, th extent, another thing yeah. is as well, is that yeah. if, if I said it now, it's sort of concrete. But I think the problem is also, when you, when I'm sculpting something, yeah, and this is the first time, I, I could start a piece yeah. off, and then within two days later, I'm, oh, I was just oh, about to say, mind, you, you, often, you often change your mind. That, so, that, yeah, that's yeah. right. I like, I like to leave it a little bit fluid. You really. need to be, uh, yeah. You need to be in the mood yeah, yeah, for certain yeah. pieces. I've Might even do some more polls. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We always do some more polls. I know that's okay, probably so, that's yeah. not probably not the best. No, answer, Marty might be disappointed in that. Poor but, Marty. Uh, he can always use his DeLorean to find out. That's right. He can. He can. Yeah. Yes, and let us know. Right. Right. Uh, uh, last question before we move on. To yes. Okay. Another one. question. Okay. Random. random. Question four. All random. <gasps> Another scroll. Another scroll. <laughs> Did you prepare? <laughs> the carrier pigeon was busy. This. What was it? You know. Yeah. Yes. Being in Shropshire, you know, it's uh, part of the course, isn't it? Anyway, let's unravel it. Oh, this one's got a seal. My as well. God. A seal. Right. Okay. So. Um, Right, uh, this is, uh, again, this is uh, from a bit further afield, just uh, just across the uh, across the channel. Oh, the channel? Yes, the channel, so not too far. France? So, uh, Louis, Louis of Louis Paris. Louis of Paris, yes. okay. Yeah, he has, um, he has a small summer house in, in, in Versailles. Is this the Sun King? <laughs> <laughs> the Dauphin. Oh, the yeah, right, okay. King uh, Gardener, is, is he done? <laughs> well, well... <laughs> yeah, yes, I think more of a more of a landscaper, really. More of a landscaper. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm just see. I'm so, looking at you, trying to think what question. Yeah, well, it you... is to that. I mean, obviously, right. he, he starts off saying that he, he will be disappointed not to be seeing us uh, at at Maison in, of course. In, in September. Yeah. But he hopes to catch up catch up with us in January. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, yeah. All all being well. All being well. Yeah, that's right. But yes, yes, on on the um, gardening. Theme, you, you hit that one a nail on the head. I'm waiting for the question. <laughs> um, can can edge sculpture yes go outdoors? Right. That, well, this is a question that we get asked a lot. Actually, yes. can they go outdoors? Um, and the the quick answer is yes, they can. In terms of the material being durable, it is because the the, the mix we use is frost proof, mm -hmm. particularly the larger pieces. I mean, it goes with anything. You put something small and delicate out there. There are other physical issues there, not just pets uh, and children. Pets young and children. children. Um, I think paint from a painting perspective, because everything we do is hand painted. Uh, we do use a masonry based paint, yeah. and we lacquer them. So again, yes, they it's are good. to well, certainly be weatherproof. Yeah, you, it, the, the masonry paint is in itself got some UV protection in it, hasn't it? It, it has, yeah. but, Hence it's masonry. but like anything though, I think that if, it, yeah, if you're putting, leaving something in 
in direct sunlight in the same position all the time. Yeah. I think that that's where pigments in paint. Well, it, it's get it's the same as your garden yeah. furniture attacked your shed yeah. your fence. They they will yeah. fade and get weather over time. So, so basically, what we do yeah. suggest is if you do have them outside, just yeah. take them in in extreme weather conditions. I've got three basically. pieces outside, have and you? they're fine. Yeah. What have you got outside? I've got a grill head. Yeah. I've got an elf. Yeah. Uh, and a green man. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and they, they've they've been fine for oof, last three years. So yeah, no problem. That sounds like I haven't been to your house for three years. <laughs> he, he actually hasn't <laughs> been to my house for three years. We won't go over that <laughs> nightmare builder last year. It'd be but nice won't, to I be won't, invited. Won't mention any names. Wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Sorry. Maybe, maybe you see enough of me at work. Yeah, anyway, well, it's not just that we're just so busy. <laughs> but yeah. Yes. All right. Um, okay. Okay, so actually we're jumping straight into presentation yes, number two. Yes, that, that was our two questions. So uh, well, well, sorry, I hope that answers your question, Louis. Anyway. But yes. Right, I think, I think the second presentation we will go on to is the octopus. Mm, great. Yeah, yeah, so from there, again, press that special button down. We know that. I've routine. moved it. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's it's great. Under, un, okay. under, the, under the counter now. Right, okay, okay. so You're under the ready? under the counter button. You ready? Three, two, one. Go. Hello folks, welcome to the presentation for the octopus. Now this has been quite a tricky piece to sculpt, to be honest, not because it's got eight tentacles, which creates its own issues, I guess, but more from the fact that I wanted to achieve it as an interior piece that someone could uh, position how they wanted it, which is quite tricky when you've got eight tentacles. So what I wanted to do was sculpt the piece so that you could position it either facing towards the right or indeed if it was your persuasion to the left. Now once I've achieved that with a pose the next thing I wanted to sort of maintain was light traveling through the piece which is what I've done. Now to achieve that this piece has to be manufactured in three sections to, to maintain uh, almost a, a shell like appearance with it so it's entombed yet the light passes all the way through it. The third issue is colour. Now colour is very, very tricky, almost like a quest. Now there are lots of opinions on the internet, have been on Facebook what colour to do. Could have been green, could have been purples, could have been even pinks. But what we've decided to do is go for uh, a very uh, nature accurate colour, we think, in the common octopus, which is why you can see it here, it's got a very um, burnt orange and brown appearance. Now, to put a little bit more of an artistic edge into it, no pun intended, uh, we've also graduated a, a pinkish lilac tone towards the end of the tentacles. So it resonance, re resonates or, or basically suggests translucency, even though it is a very uh, solid sculpt. We wanted to also make sure that the piece um, sat in someone's contemporary home setting, or whatever home setting, um, nicely. Um, I think from this point, you possibly would need a close-up. So let's go over to Dan's 360 film that he's prepared earlier.
Well, folks, hope you liked uh, the last presentation of the octopus. Um, did you know that an octopus has nine brains, though? <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you, could tell, you could tell we actually haven't rehearsed this at all. It has got nine brains, mate. Yeah. They have a brain in each tentacle. It is. <laughs> well, and, and the head. So we've got one in the head and... Yes. Independent. Yes. Absolutely. You see, see this is the, I, totally I, I unrehearsed. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well... I thought you uh, knew this. This, uh, this is turning into a bit of a, a it's wildlife a, thing. It, it, the... It's a thinking man or man's or woman's piece. Yeah, I mean, okay. you educated me about the uh, octopus, and I educated you about the uh, duck bill There octopus. you go. We're, we're even Stevens. God, what a, right. what a well anyway, of knowledge. Anyway, so basically, yeah, this is another, I think we're jumping into another Q&A before we go into yes. the, the final presentation. Okay. Going into autumn, but yeah. So yes, okay. I, I will retrieve my, my hat. Right, hefty hat. There's not much else we can say about the hat. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right. Yep, totally. Totally at random. Questions at random? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, this one, this chap is close to home. Right. Um, Mr. Phil Fogg of Mayfair in London. Mr. (laughs) Phileas. Could be. It is. He it doesn't. He doesn't say. But uh, yes. yes. I mean, it, it, it's it's uh, an unusual Around name. Around the world in eighty days. Did, I, that's what he, he sort of. Yes, he says. He, again. Yes, he, he, he said he's a man who likes his travels. In fact, uh, he says that he once circumnavigated the globe in around two and a half months. Yeah, 80, 80 days, days. Oh, that's marvellous marvellous you know it's right and it's that's no mean feat on, yeah. a, on an elephant it, 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 <laughs> and, it, it, and a steam yeah. tray yeah, yes. a <laughs> right guy. okay um uh, phileas phileas it's a name you Phil. don't hear very yeah. often it isn't no. at all <laughs> um anyway he would like to know um obviously he's aware that we have uh we've uh we're going into europe with um shows like maison and we have done germany as well, uh, but he'd yes. like to know if we plan to take Edge further afield. Oh, right. Okay, further afield. Well, that's interesting. Um, Edge has already been released um, by um, our retail partners, retail partners, our licensed partners uh, by Unesco in the US mm-hmm. and Canada. Yeah. And they've made it possible for folks down under Australia, New Zealand to buy it as well. And, yes. And obviously... Yes. Um, I think I mentioned Canada already, did I? Yeah, Canada. Yeah, you said... Uh, I did, that's twice. Um, it's worth mentioning twice. It is, it is. Um, from a Europe's point of view, we, yeah, we've had, we've been to Frankfurt and we've done uh, France. Yeah. Uh, in, in Paris. I think that, from our personal perspective, because Dan and I have spoken about this, I think that, yeah, we'd certainly like to look at Milan, Italy. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'd love to do Scandinavia. There's a show, I think, Formex, I think, uh, Stockholm. I'd love to go there, Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Not just actually sometimes for um, just marketing edge, but just the the (laughs) travelling aspect of it, if I'm honest. The beer. Um, But apart from that, absolutely. Um, Spain, possibly, as well. But I think that's from our point of view of travelling and bringing, taking edge. There's there's worse places to go, to be honest. There there is. (laughs) Birmingham. So, sorry, sorry. No, we, we didn't say that. No, no. It's, it's because we're over. <laughs> we've 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 been up only up well, the road we, to the we, NEC for oh years, thirty years really. Yeah, that's where we live in the Midlands, don't we? Yeah, so. exactly. So yeah. yeah, the downtime when you go do the NEC shows is, is nil. You know, it's not much, not much to do there. But yeah, okay. Does that answer that question, Phil? Oh. Only, only Mr. Fogg could tell you that. Only Mr. Fogg. Yes. So let's let's hope it did. Hopefully, hope it did. Okay. Okay. Question last question for the section. Six. Yes. Last question for this. Yep. So I need to random. Right. Okay. Talking of unusual names. <laughs> this is uh, Mr. I assume it's Mr. Um, G. Ollum of the Shire. In, right in in, oh, in Middle Earth. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm guessing that's in the Midlands somewhere, <laughs> possibly. Well, actually, Tolkien did base Lord of the Rings on Shropshire. 
the Shire with its green and raw. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Did he? It did. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, did he, he all thought we looked like hobbits. Well, I certainly am. <laughs> oh, yes, Harry. So basically, so Gollum then? Yes, um, Smeagol, as he likes to be known as well. Right, uh, as we know, he has uh, a very favourite piece uh, item. The, 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 yes. I knew you were going to go for this one. The, yes, he calls it his precious. His precious. Yes. But he would like to know what yeah. your precious edge piece is, your favourite edge piece oh, is. Oh, that's so difficult. My favourite, favourite. Or one you're most right. proud of, this maybe. Is, well, this, this is a very difficult question. Uh, a favourite, where you sculpt them and, and see them all the time. I would say that when I'm looking at them in that way, which isn't every day, I think, ironically, is when we do it normally set up for shows. Um, and I think I have to look at it from the view of someone that hasn't seen the piece before. So then you, you know, it's almost like testing yourself then. Which mm -hmm. piece do I think will capture interest for those that haven't maybe seen Edge before? Mm -hmm. I think if I'm putting a piece out, I'll think, right, I definitely uh, think Gorilla. Mm -hmm. I definitely think Lion. But then I also think, right, theatre. Mm -hmm. And that's when I always go with the uh, T-Rex. I love the T-Rex. I know it's huge and I know it's, you know, it's, it's not that generic of generic interest. But, uh, yeah, I do like putting the T-Rex. But I also think, you know, more latterly, uh, when we've set it up at the shows, Dan, you know, the, the elephant bust, particularly on its uh, metal base, I think. Because it's just yeah. a little bit different and it covers a lot of area, I think. I think favourite... I don't think you can have a favourite because I can always see uh, issues or where I'd maybe like to make something maybe better or improve it. But I think I think generally speaking, yeah, that type of piece. Yeah. Yeah. Waves the edge sculpture flag, I think, the best. Yeah, some more, more technical pieces. I think, maybe. Ah, and the sitting orangutan, pieces like that. Oh, okay. And, yep. and the sitting gorilla, because I think that... They've also allowed us all, to move all, in all the way. <laughs> no, but no, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm being it, but it, 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 I think I think I think with the with the orangutan sitting, it's quite a large piece. I know the gorilla's even bigger, but I think there's an engagement there, yeah. and also it's led to doing the smaller one. So I think yeah, I think that as well. So yeah, yeah. Okay, but, I'm I'm quite. Better fine. stop me well, before I start rabbiting about. Well, things. if anyone's interested in my opinion. Yes, actually, actually Dan, okay then, Dan, what are your favourite pieces? Uh, I am uh, keen on the shark, I do like the shark. The shark, yes. Yeah. Actually, um, you wanted me to do the shark. My other half won't have it in the house, though, so. Will she not? <laughs> She's scared of the shark? No, I haven't asked to be at the times, but I don't think she would. I mean, we've got the penguin, uh, the uh, small owl. Yeah. The Actually, yeah, the, the sitting orangutan. I know, you've got, I know you like, That's what we've got. like the Green Man, I think. Yeah, no, Green Man, yeah. I, I'd love that as a sculpt, I think. Yeah, it's, Green Man. It's yeah. very accomplished, I, I love Again, it. though, I think that mm. falls into the same sort of, uh, we were talking earlier about it being a niche subject. So it's something that I like the idea of with fantasy and mm. ethereal and history. But uh, I think you take that further afield, particularly where we're taking Demaze on. It's that interest from it, it being, I suppose, at, from a design perspective. And But, you know, people don't really know what it is, do they? But, yeah. No, uh, talking about the, the octopus, I, I do think that's... Um, yeah? Um, I do like that one yeah. as well. Right, and I think, yep. though, so those are all that's, six questions. Yep, all questions. So we're moving on to the final cool. presentation. Now, the final presentation is very interesting because it's for the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. This isn't as straightforward as the other pieces because I've had to, or we've had to, um, paint them in five different colourways to launch, I think. We've had to at least do that because literally um, the amount of opinions we've had regarding can I have a black one, can I have a blue, bring all black, it just goes on and on. And I think we we already know this anyway from uh, the Ball Terrier. So I think that uh, this one more than any, because it is a breed orientated piece, I think will be a very interesting presentation. There's always colours we're going to have missed, I get it. And also everyone's dog is different. This is very difficult when you're painting anything, and you also have to paint them the same because it is a product. Uh, but yeah, let's hope that the five colours we we have ready for you for this presentation uh, tick your boxes, folks. Nobody is saying that this is the only colours we're ever going to produce, but we have to at least have a starting 
point. I, th I think five's plenty. It, it is. It is. Yeah. But I just w I just also wanted to get a little bit of a different look and see where the yeah, piece yeah. went. I don't think so. But yeah. So I th let's go to our final presentation, Dan. Okay. Magic button time. Magic button. Okay. It's still down here. Still down here. Okay. okay. So magic button. Yeah. One, two, three. Hello folks, uh, welcome to the presentation for the uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Um, as we mentioned, we've gone for five colourways straight from the off um, and I hope they're to your approval. Um, just to point out, uh, we have a blue Staffy and I know a lot of you have wanted a blue one. We have a red, which I think is a pretty uh, uh, traditional colour for a Staffy. Again, another traditional colour is uh, a brindle. And of course, black. But what we've also gone for is a white one with a patch, which I think um, demonstrates a lot of character uh, in the piece, which I've tried to do. I wanted to bring a passive alertness to the piece as well. Uh, but there you have it, the five colorways. Now we go on to a, a 360 close-up that Dan has prepared and filmed already, okay? Um, hello folks, hope you liked the uh, presentation for the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I did. Did you, Dan? <laughs> very much so. That, that was very enthusiastic at that, I must it, say. But yeah, it's that's true, brilliant. But, but there was so much choice. So much choice, so much it choice. Was, it was very good. Yeah, well I, think, I, think, I think particularly with dog breeds, um, particularly something that has so many colour variations, which I've been constantly reminded of on Facebook, we decided this time round, rather than just going to go with one colour or two, we, we've gone for five. It could have been seven and it could have been nine, but we've gone for five. Now, hopefully that sort of ticked a lot of you guys' boxes mm -hmm. off. And, uh, you know, going into particularly the festive period, I hope we've, you know, got some colours in the right places, so to speak. Uh, my particular favourite has got to be uh, the white one with the patch. Patch. Yeah, I thought it would be. He's got a little bit of a character yeah. about him. Yes. But yeah, so that's our third presentation. Now we said there were three. Um, there is actually going to be a fourth. A fourth? A fourth! Yes. More, now, not, not more surprises. No, th this wasn't actually planned when we first started filming this, but there was a, a, a gap. Uh, uh, in our schedule and I thought I'll just go for it I'll just go for something I'll, I'll just go for it and there were no guarantees um, but yeah I managed to literally finish it yesterday which is hence my eyes my eyes but yeah, <laughs> that was fatigue setting in but yes yeah, so we will be showing that very shortly now before yep. we go into the fourth 
mm -hmm. presentation of a sculpt clay. Um, just a short message this is, oh, slipped. A fourth message to our shops and stockists. This basically uh, is very, very important. We've been sending a lot of emails out, that's to stockists in mainland Europe and the UK again. What we want people to do is access our trade only website. And this is very, very important because it means that it's easier for you guys, no matter when you want to do, to place an order with us. And to, you can once you place an order, you can check on its uh, progress. Yeah, it, it, like any, any, like when if you're buying something from a yeah. shop, it works the same way, only for the trade yeah. only. And um, it, it's open 24 seven. So, you know, there are, and a lot of people, you know, very busy during uh, working day. Yeah. And so, you know, you can uh, place orders, yeah. you know, at the end of an evening or weekend, and you know, and then they're, they're logged in, registered for you. So. And, and that's good at, at any time of the year. However, it's really important at following, following this uh, presentation because the new <coughs> items are pre-order items at, at, at this stage because we've only just started making them. So really, pre-order means you go into the back end, it will be listed as a pre-order, which mm -hmm. means even if you want to make a separate order, this is a pre-order, so it's separate. You make that, and effectively, you're in that queue. And it's the fairest way because it, it, it's date-specific. Mm -hmm. It's the same sort of thing we usually do at a, at a show, albeit on bits of paper and daily recorded. But I think... In this situation, that's the best way we could do it, and that will be open tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, the tenth. The tenth. <laughs> it depends what people we have to say that so, because yeah. this is clearly not recorded on the night. <laughs> but uh, yeah. tomorrow, tenth of in, September, in the future, twenty twenty. Barely a week mm -hmm. away, but yeah. Anyway, right. fourth presentation. Moving on. Yes. So we'll put a little bit of a hint. Now we did mention this piece <laughs> earlier on. And I mentioned I might get lynched if I didn't do it. And also, following the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, we thought it might be a very apt piece. Yep, absolutely. So, and you did have mentioned it earlier. I did. So, so are we going to cue the, 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 the hint music <laughs> anthem? Yeah, I've got to find it first, but yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like ad lib. <laughs> Either way, I'm sure yes. I can hear the sound. I, of an anthem. I, I'm hoping okay. so. Yes. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> All right. Anyway, with any that, further ado, with that magic button, magic button, come on. presentation. Hello folks, uh, welcome to Dan and I's final presentation. Yes, we originally said three, but here we go. I've actually got a Frenchie, or what I hope you guys like, as the Frenchie, more, most importantly, uh, ready uh, for this uh, virtual show. Uh, the piece literally is still incredibly soft in the clay, so I've still got some sharpening to do. Also, as you can notice, uh, it, it, it it isn't quite as hollow yet, it will be. Obviously we'll get the light going all through the eyes, etc, etc. So I've got some ways off with that, but not, not, not too much. Um, the piece scales very well with the staffy. The staffy, basically the eye line will be about there, and the overall height about there. So they will almost be a, a couple, which is ironic because obviously I put those two pieces or pitched them, so to speak, in, in a pole. On Facebook but uh, yeah so finally got over the finish line with it hope you guys like it the final piece going into 2020 hopefully if we can get it in that's right it Dan Dan's nodding okay <laughs> thanks very much bye right folks that was the final presentation. There isn't another one. What a surprise. What a surprise. No, no this, is, this is not like a Marvel film. You don't have to watch after we say goodbye. No, there, there isn't. <laughs> no, no, please there's, don't. There's not, a, there's not another one. There's be yeah. barely enough time to get the fourth. Yeah. Have got the fourth. Also, literally, as we were talking about this earlier in the uh, presentation, you know, in the back of my mind when I thought the Facebook polls were so close, 
with the Staffordshire Bull Terry and the Frenchie. Yeah. I thought, if I can do it, if I can just get it done. So, yeah. Now, Brilliant. obviously, I haven't put the clay out, so I have no idea, this is a big risk, no idea of the response at this stage whatsoever. So it's a bit of a risk. But I hope you guys liked I'm it. Sure agree. I hope you guys I liked it. Yeah, it scales up really well with the Staffy, or I hope it does. And yes, like the Staffy, we'll also look at releasing it in uh, different colours. From a time perspective, slightly difficult to predict at this point. We're going to try and earn this maybe to get some pieces out towards the end of the year, but I'll put more information on that on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But for now, that's come to the end of our virtual presentation. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the Frenchie will be very well received. But yes, we should be winding this up now. We we'll can wind this up. <laughs> and, and, and well done, folks, for you to have, have, have <laughs> literally watched it it's in its entirety. Yeah, if you have watched, yes. it, not fast forwarding yes. anything. We were well planning done. on twelve minutes for everything, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. An, an hour and twenty. Clearly overshot. <laughs> but anyway. Yes. Well. Okay. So uh, goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to do it. <laughs> yes. Cheesy, and, um, but there you go. As we said earlier, uh, we plan to do more of these these films, yeah. and obviously, let's hope we, we can go to more uh, trade fairs very very soon. So. Yeah. Goodbye, and folks, and thank you very much again. And look after yourselves. Okay. Bye. Magic button permanent oh, one this time. Yeah, permanent one. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Beep.